And in the case of creation, I would say, the universe comes into being at t equals zero, and that is the same moment at which God causes the universe to come into being. I'm pretty sure nobody cares about my opinion about God's atemporality, so I will use this as an excuse uh, to reiterate my objection to the language of coming into existence or popping into existence. That is not what the universe does, even in models where the universe has a beginning, a first moment. Because the, net, the verb popping, the verb to pop, uh, has a temporal um, connotation, is the word I'm looking for. It sounds as if you waited a while and then pop, there was the universe. But that's exactly wrong. There, the correct statement is that there are models that are complete and consistent in which there is a first moment of time. That is not the same as to say that there was some process by which the universe popped into being. That's yet another difference between the universe and things inside the universe. The universe is just popping into existence. Does cosmology have anything to say about where God might have come from, or are we allowed to think that he could have popped into existence? Yeah. No, obviously cosmology would not have anything to say about where God came from because God is a non-physical transcendent entity beyond the universe. Um, that's why I use the word transcendent in that argument. This is something that is beyond the universe. The universe is defined as all contiguous physical reality. But I do want to take this opportunity to highlight for you a very significant difference between Sean and myself that is a philosophical difference that has tremendous impact upon this whole debate. And that has to do with this idea of popping into existence. If I'm not mistaken, Dr. Carroll holds to what is called a tenseless theory of time. That is to say, past, present, and future events are all equally real. Temporal becoming is merely a subjective illusion of human consciousness. There is nothing privileged about the present, ontologically speaking. I hold to quite a different view of time. I think that um, temporal becoming is a real and objective feature of the universe. The future doesn't in any sense exist. Things really do come into being and go out of being. And that's why I use the language of popping into existence, not because I illicitly presuppose a, a time prior to the origin of the universe, but because I believe in a tensed theory of time which affirms the objectivity of temporal becoming. And on that view, the beginning of the universe does not just tenselessly exist. The universe comes into being, and surely that requires a cause. Now, this is not just an unfounded metaphysical assumption on my part. I've written two books on this in which I defend the tensed theory of time uh, giving arguments for it and answering objections against it, and then I attack the tenseless theory of time, giving arguments against it and answering the arguments for it. But this is a huge metaphysical time. assumption that underlies this debate and divides us.